Okay, this is a small engine manuals part two, form all lady. C. Okay, here's Tecumseh's uh, three through ten horsepower four cycle handbook, mechanics handbook. I'll take a look through here and see what's see what we can see. Okay, same old stuff on the on here is the Briggs, just uh, their flavor of it, I guess. Air cleaners, carburetors, governor's linkage, uh, general information, training aids, tools, cylinder block, internal components. Okay, here's something on the breakdown on the engine numbers. Okay, there it is on a vertical crankshaft, horizontal crankshaft. Cycle engine theory. Ah, okay, here's the deal on the carburetor numbers. I think maybe you had asked that question before. Shows the date stamp numbers and carburetor date code, carburetor model code, alternate number for model number. I guess that's the primary location. This would be alternate and secondary is what I think that that's saying. I'm going to have you. Somewhere or another, I've got a chart around here that says exactly what's what on those, which number is what. I think I'll have to dig that out. Okay, carburetor overhaul adjustments, or overhaul repair adjustment, different types, uh, primer bulb, linkages, carburetor service and procedure breakdowns. Okay. Moving the primer bulb, all that good stuff. Alright, let's get through here. Anyway, okay, governors. Here's governors. Horizontal shaft engine governors. Let's see, Snow King engines, horizontal medium frame, HM Snow King engines, all that good stuff. Let's see what we got here. Rewind starters. All the hubbub on the rewind, how to get them going and how they work and what have you. Batteries, alternators. 120 volt electric starters, charging systems, troubleshooting. Okay, flywheel brake systems, inside edge brake system, bottom brake systems, flywheel bottom brake system, ignition operation, ignition service, flywheel pullers, all that good stuff for the single four cycle. Tecumseh. What have you, oil seal reamers, bearings, all that good stuff. I'm gonna close, man, troubleshooting there. I'm gonna close that up. This one's is pretty much the same thing, but it's for a mechanics handbook for eight to 18 horsepower cast iron, four cycle engines. Uh, uh, here we go again, two cycle, the Tecumseh two cycle engines. All right, here is a Tecumseh factory school training uh, tape, actually a DV, or DVD, more boy, VHS tape. Troubleshooting the Cumpsy carburetors. This is if you ever run across one of these, it's a good one. It's kind of comical at the beginning, but or at the start, but it's a good one. It's worth it's worth the money. This is a old one. I think I give twenty dollars for this back in probably twenty years ago. But uh, it's a good one. They have another one that uh, covers ignition and ignition time. And if I ever run across that one, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it, but uh, I mean, uh, it'll probably be on eBay somewhere because that's all that has been stuff and things like that. Okay, four cycle engine failure analysis. This is a copy I ran across somewhere. Service dealers and technician training informational series, evaluation process, air cleaning carburetor, all that good stuff, low oil running, no oil start, failure evaluation. I think what this is, it just shows you the technicians what happens when you do this kind of stuff for, you know, what to look for, what it looks like when people do these, this stuff to engine, you know, start them with that oil, start them up wide open and throw a rod and things like that. And uh, counterbalance problems, crankshaft problems. Let's see, spun journal, spun bearing, spun crank. Connecting rods, busted up connecting rod right there. Jeez. Okay, start up piston, board, ring. Okay. Oil 
oil-related failures, no oil start, low running, uh, non oil related failures, ingested dirt and grit. Well, I've seen a few of those like that. Defective connecting rod and properly torqued rod bolts. No oil start, and it shows you know what happens, what it looks like, and you know what. So that way they can, I guess, recognize that if it comes in and somebody's wanting them to warranty, warranty it. You know they'll know a little better than to just do a warranty job on that kind of deal and what have you. Improperly torqued rod bolts, but anyway, I guess I could probably go on a long time with that one. Ah, right, come on now, throw this into the side. Okay, Tecumseh ignition system this is just a service booklet that I think I ran across years ago components of a Tecumseh magneto ignition system flywheel stator plate dust cover uh, you know all that good stuff coil condenser plug primary winding secondary winding and just you know proper time and procedures for a Tecumseh engine which I hear is not too fun to time. I'm always kind of stuck with the rigs, but I think on these you actually need a dial indicator to time them. Uh, sounds like a involved deal. I've never done that, but I don't think I'd want to try either. But who knows? It may be a fairly easy process. Spark plug service and all that good stuff. All right, carburetor troubleshooting. There's that book. I think I may have it. Yeah, there, there it is, right there. Carburetor date code, carburetor model number, manufacturer service number. There's, you uh, ain't gonna be able to see it, I guess, but there's the uh, manufacturer model number, service part number, page number, uh, some more. I guess it, you know, tells you how to break down the data on the carburetor, what have you. There's some more two through seven horsepower float carburetor breakdowns, troubleshooting, uh, leaky carburetor gaskets, what have you. A whole bunch of stuff on those carburetors. Okay, this is actually for a specialized piece of test equipment, a Mercatronic tester, I believe that's an ignition system checker and what have you. And yeah, there we go. Stators, coils, and all that good stuff. Okay, this is just another, I think it's a Graham Lee tester. It may be the same thing as a Mercatronic, just in a different package. It looked like it tested about the same. Okay, this is for the specialty tools, the specialty service tools. Uh, it goes through the tools and what have you. Four cycle tools, oil seal drivers, and all kind of stuff like that. All oh, good stuff. Flywheel puller strap wrench, flywheel knockoffs. Oil seal drivers, timing gauges, strap wrench, peerless tool kit. I think that's for the Tecumseh transmission. But uh, there's a do it yourself repair engine stand and a do it yourself outboard test tank. Uh -huh. How to replace a seal using a seal protector and a seal installer. Good stuff. All right, well, that's it on that. That's part two. I'm going to cut it out before it jumps over 10. So I'll get this posted up on YouTube and start on the third video. Y'all take care.